Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the powerful cheese that's turning heart still top laners such as Cho'Gath, Scion, and Mundo into a higher tempo carry. And that is to get an early start on your heart still. Now, the biggest downside of this is it's slightly harder the last hit because going for a Doran style item gives you extra damage against minions, whether you go for the D-Ring or even for the D-Shield, an extra five damage. So if you really, 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 really struggle with last hitting, the strat may not be the best for you. But if you're willing to try something new and try something that is the higher win rate build, then I think you'll enjoy this quite a bit. So we're going to start with Ruby. We don't want to waste gold on refill. In fact, you could go without potions. It's a little risky, though, if they try to dive you or something like that. So we got the Ruby, two pot. Now we only need 2,800 gold for heart still and start scaling. Cho'Gath, you don't want to push lane on him. You're probably not going to get solo kills in lane either, generally until you're at least level 6. Or... Once you have heart still. Generally, you'll be level 6 and then you'll get heart still. Somewhere between 6 and 11. Level 1, you can start with E or Q. Just don't push the wave. You can out trade a lot of kind of lower damage, slow champions, slow playstyle champions with your E. Auto attack E resets. We, we both have grasp up right now. I got him with mine, he didn't get me with his because he was kind of late to get to the minion there. He's playing extremely uh, docile right now. Main thing is just getting CS. Now Grasp is nice because it gives us permanent HP, but the CS is way more important because I had Grasp there, so of course I'm going to take the trade. CS is way more important so we can get an early heart still. Auto, very nice. We're barely able to get that. We need to hurry and finish pushing this. Auto attack into an E. I had grass ready for that. Very nice. Get my Q down. Get him with an auto attack while he's knocked up in the air so he can't retaliate. Getting off more grass than he is makes a huge difference since grass peels us. And obviously damages him. It makes it hard for him to trade off. Because what little damage he's already done to me, it's like it never happened. If you crash the cannon wave on your third wave is the cannon wave. It's a good time to go ward. We'll go mess with the Vi here. Get with the slow. We want to try to keep the blue buff on top of her if possible. Right now it's kind of on me. I'm going to flash this. That got super messy and ugly. On the bright side, my wave's still underneath their turret. Uh, it got messy when I started tanking blue. Once I started tanking blue, I should have pulled back and tried to get it to reset. That's what made it super, super tough to deal with. On the bright side, my wave is in a decent spot. We'll go ahead, push for Kindle and Gem, TP back to lane. If you're up against a uh, range matchup, going for Crystalline Bracer can be better. A pokey matchup, like a Teemo or maybe a GP. This is a very slow matchup, though. We're both scaling, both kind of playing for level 6. Get him with that grass bottle. Very nice. I have more CS than he has right now. And we want to try to perpetually hold this wave here because it's very easy to die on Cho'Gath to ganks. Oof, couldn't get to that minion. You can certainly use your abilities to last it. You don't have to only use your autos and E's. But you're easier when your lowest mana costs. That's what you generally want to end up using. He slowed silence, so we go for the knockup. Not bad. We want to get his. Ooh, wow. He's really going in for it there. I'm going to go ahead and pop my potion. The higher HP you are, the more li less likely you are to die to a gank, and less likely there are to gank you, because they'll think it's going to be too challenging. He's trading off really, really well with his uh, shield on his Q and empowered autos. I'm going to try to hold this wave here. It is going to push towards him, but he may not realize that. All right, we stopped his back. We kind of just need to push now. He's trying to reset. Now it is time to dump. Give ourselves some space to breathe. Got most of those. Can we get a turret plate? Probably not. He's going to TP back. So I'm just going to start my back. I don't know where the Vi is. 
five minute mark and up is when you're looking to use demolish pre five minute mark you can't really hurt the turret that much top and mid turret at least looks like he didn't use this tp that's a little surprising not quite sure what he's saving it for currently have more xp than him that one chase he did after i crashed wave that's why you don't do what the shen did because he lost so many minions he, he had to just let me bully the vi off her camp but he ended up losing like a wave wave and a half so i'm level five he's level four i'm gonna hit level six first and since I didn't buy D-Shield, I should be able to get my heart still before he gets his first full item. So we're sitting pretty right now. Cho'Gath is very slow champion in terms of playstyle early on and in terms of actual movement speed. 345, big hitbox. Of course, you can push for Dead Man's Force of Nature kind of in the team fight stage of the game. He has his grass ready plus minion advantage. We don't want to take a big fight here. We can max range farm with a Q. So we don't miss. Your W costs way more than Q. I wanted to get my grasp up before I took this fight. Oh, wow. I might actually win this. He's trying to slide his Q through me there. When he slides it through you, he does more damage and his autos also slow you. It's really annoying. So you don't want him to be able to slide that through you. We'll go ahead and just burn our R. If you can tell the enemies aren't going to fight you, then uh, it's best to just use it on the minion immediately. And you could tell within just a few seconds of me getting level 6 that he wasn't interested at all in actually interacting. I have a steep minion advantage. Might as well push. Finish dumping the wave. Oh, that auto attack rip. I have minion advantage here, so it makes sense to just fight it. I would like to get this little plate here if it will let me. Very nice. We get the knock up. And he misses cannon. That is hilarious. Looks like Vi is thinking about coming topside here. I have to back off though. She's six as well. And she has red buff. I'm missing a lot of health. When you back off, ideally you don't want the enemies to see you do it. Because then they'll waste more time like she's doing here. So she's going to leave now. Shen kind of needs to leave. I want to stay, actually. I have my R. My R's back up. I might be able to stall for teleport. I think she already backed off by now, or she's on the Herald. Oh, wait. This is pushing towards me. I'll just chill. I can TP back to lane. It's fine. I'll last hit with my R. Your R does over 1,000 to minions and monsters. Just make sure it has less than 1,000 health when you use it. He had one more range creep than me. If you, if you can crash a wave against their turret, odds are it's going to bounce back to you, obviously, because their turret's going to uh, have the fight in their favor consistently. This is perfect. He's going to miss out on a lot of CS since his minions are essentially killing it. Auto attack E reset. We need to be careful on those Vorpal Spines, though. I didn't want to miss that minion. Oh, that sucks. Very unfortunate. How close am I to Hearthstone? I'm, I'm still pretty far away, honestly. Oh, no way, bro. Mm, that's unfortunate. Auto attack, E reset. I'll just go ahead and push now. I kind of messed up the wave with my Vorpals. It is what it is. Alright, we got most of them. It's crashed. I do still kind of want to stay. I think Shen must have rotated box. I'm not seeing him up here. Outside of that, he's waiting for a very particular amount of gold. I only need a little bit more for heart still. We're about to power spike. 10 minute mark. Not bad. We haven't even gotten a kill. So 10 minute mark around level 8 is when you should, in theory, hit this spike. We have three R stacks now. That's extra HP and whatnot. We'll be playing nicely into our build. The more HP you have, the more damage heart still does. The more damage heart still does, the more HP it gives you. Delicious. I'll trade off with a grasp here. I'll go ahead and leave it. Even if my wave's in a weird spot, I don't have the mana to finish pushing. Plus, I'm sitting on a heart still. Then we can start infinitely stacking and getting giga big. He hasn't been CSing that well. He only has 33 CS. I don't think this is necessarily a good matchup for Shen. I think this is heavily Cho'Gath favored. Unless 
Shen gets his jungler to camp him, in which case it can get kind of hard. Shen's a bit more mobile than Cho with his dash. Got him. Look at that heart still damaged. My goodness. And the wave's still kind of pushing to me. Gonna follow him down here. E into Q. Not bad. I'll use the R on the minion. You can go for approach velocity on Cho'Gath. What I find is you're, you're soaking so much CC in the mid late game that it doesn't really make a difference. So for my taste, I kind of prefer Cosmic at this point. I think Cosmic gives a much higher value with your flash and TP being on a lower cooldown and whatnot. Ooh, cool. We got the heart still and back off here. Not sure where the Vi is. Making me a little bit nervous. Hearthstone's only a 30 second cooldown per unique champion. That's not that long. You can use it twice per minute. It's one of the lower cooldowns on high value uh, mythics. Walk out, bop him with an E. You couldn't trade back because he was silenced. Oof, missed that one. Not bad. Cool, got heart still. Need one more auto, very nice. This is the stage where he can't really play versus us anymore. And down he goes. We have so much HP, I can take like five shots. Some of the toughest champions to play into is Vayne. Because she can go Bork, she's ranged, she has lots of max health true damage. Plus they just buffed her true damage a patch or two ago. So Vayne's very challenging. That's what I usually go for on the bands. Other champions that are tough to deal with are Bork abusers, just generalized, such as Irelia or Jax. Even though you can play against them, you have to be extremely aware of when they have Bork and how much space do they have to chase you because it speeds them up, slows you down to where Bork's really, really nasty to deal with. Second item rush, you can go for Frozen if it's double physical damage, top jungle. That's your highest win rate at that point. If they're not double physical, then you can push for demonic if your team's lacking AP. In this case, my team's like full AP. Me, <laughs> Syndra, Vygar, and Sona. So this game, demonic wouldn't even make that much sense on us. It'd actually make more sense to stack armor since they are full AD except for Milio. Looks like Shen's probably done playing topside. The way he's pushing into me, I can AFK free farm it. I can still use my R one more time on a non champion non-epic monster very cool 13 minutes in six r stacks and one kill standard chogath gameplay super low kill <laughs> champion i need to thin this out a bit we only want him to have four more range creeps than i have so shen he literally can't play this anymore it's it's not possible like look at look at his health I don't know how he's going to do it. Get with the knockup. I mean, I could have probably flash auto to finish him off there. It would have been close, but it's possible. It certainly doesn't make a difference in terms of our scaling. It's all heart still based. It's not really gold income based. That's the nice thing about this build. Just super early heart still. You get some early gold. Now we're full stacked on R. We don't want to be using that anymore against non-epic monsters, non-champions. And that is turret. A moment, at least. We've gotten both dragons. That's awesome. Vi's been top lane a little bit, but not that much. I certainly did put her behind, though, when I was messing with her. I can hit, hit the, kill this with, like, one auto. Or I can just farm free hearts still off this guy. We get the double knockup, it giga slows, then we walk away. I'm, I'm gonna have to flash this wall. That was super, super chippy. I gotta keep running. I can't stay. Unfortunately. Wow, 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 wow. She's being so aggressive. I don't think she could have even caught me there. Even if she 
Like, that if the turret wasn't there, I don't think she could catch me because she charges Q as she moves slower. It would have taken her a long time to catch up through the Q's dash and cooldown. Alright, it's time for a Frozen Heart for more ability haste. That's the one downside to going Sunfire second item. Sunfire second lead, like, super, super strong on show. But uh, in this case, since they are double physical, I can get away with Frozen Heart. Frozen Heart's a bit more one-dimensional since you're really only buying it for the CDR and the uh, armor. Meanwhile, Sunfire gives HP, which is good against everything, plus damage, which damage is obviously good against everything as well. I get the Grass Pit off on him, and he's dead. Got it. Goodbye, Shen. I'll unmute him because this is hilarious. <laughs> There's actually nothing you can do at this stage. <laughs> oh, man. I got my heart still way, 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 way before him. Why? Because I took free boots. He didn't. I didn't take D shield. He did. So we were already about, um, what is that? 750 gold from second one in the game. Right when the game starts, we're already 750 gold closer to Heartstill than he is. Assuming he doesn't build boots, which he did before he finished Heartstill, which is somewhat common. I'll go ahead and stay. I don't think I actually die here unless Jarvan comes as well. I want to keep getting Heartstills off this guy. Nice. We got the Heartstill. My grass was up. I can actually kill him if I just land one Q. There's a weird smell coming into this room. It smells like a, like a burnt wax. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to make Shen suffer. Oof. I really want to get that heart still, man. I'm, I'm pushed way too far, though. There's four people missing. I'm the only gankable person on the map. I don't have a single teammate even showing. So who are they going to go for right now? They're going to come straight for me. I still don't have anyone up on the map. Jinx is kind of fed. That's scary. She's really far ahead of my Vigar. Almost got him with that. Nice. I should have R'd him there. I didn't expect to do that much damage, I suppose. Plus, if I keep them alive, I can per perpetually keep R'ing them. That's kind of funny. Or perpetually keep uh, getting heart stills off. Yeah, they actually can't. They, can't. they tried. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. They're going to have to send Jinx. Jinx could shred me pretty hard with lethal tempo. I need to get more and more armor. Second item, Sunfire, Thornmel, Force of Nature, or Frozen Heart. Shogath has many, many, many second item options. Many, many, many. Oof, that was not pretty. Shen did R for that, but still. Sona didn't even R. They weren't fighting under turret. It's not like they got dove. They lose top turret, we lose mid turret. It is what it is. I couldn't really get there in time anyways. That fight ended extremely quickly. Looks like they're going to get two turrets. Hey, friend. I could actually kill him here if he doesn't respect me. Yeah, give me some respect, boy. <laughs> what is he doing? I, I acted like I was no threat to him. Just walked up, super casual. He's like, okay, this is chill. Find out the raw Q fish. So typically, you want slow silence, then knock up. But in that case, he was playing so aggressive. It was easy to just raw fish him out. I have a lot of auto attack range because I'm so big. I have 180. And with Vorpal Spines on, it's 230 instead. It's delicious. Who will stand against me? Apparently, this Shen will. My R's up. This guy's dead. Yeah, I almost killed him there. <laughs> Without R. This is hilarious. 
Get my Q down. She kind of just goes through it, though. I'll flash that. Yeah, my Q isn't hitting Vi. Even on that one, it didn't hit her. She was right on top of it. She can't go through displacements with her Q. She can with her R, certainly. But that was weird. On that last one, when we were inside of the Jarvan Circle, I had my Q down. Was she actually not in that? To me, it looked like she was standing directly on top of it. In fact, displacements are supposed to cancel dashes, leaps, jumps, tumbles. That was kind of weird. I was definitely up too far being greedy. A little bit greedy. Let's go for the frozen heart and... I would say Titanic from here, honestly. Titanic or Dead Man's? I'll go Titanic. I wanted the winged moon play, but here Titanic makes sense. I'll get the blue ward as well. I can start to look to group. The thing is, if I group, Shen's going to sit on the split and then uh, just R in, so... It's a tricky situation. I think we just play for Draxel. Easy win con. Even if Vagar's going to go far behind. Syndra has enough damage. Oh, nice. Killed Emilio. They should stack magic resist. Not a single one of them really built magic resist other than Merc Treads. At least not yet. Since we have so much bonus HP from our runes, from R, and from our build on the... Uh, Heart still in particular. Titanic, when we buy it, should be giving us somewhere around a combined total of 70 to 80 attack damage, which is quite a bit higher than a standard 80 item. Standard 80 items give around 40 to 60, I believe. 40 to 60. Yeah, I guess 40 to 70. That's the really cool thing about Titanic for a big tank. Hey, friends. Oh, this is bad. Got the knockup, though. I just can't move. I gotta get my Q down. I am getting a lot of permanent HP off that is the bright side. I'm just gonna press R on somebody before I die. Like, I got a 4 or 5 heart steals there. Not 5, but 3 or 4. <laughs> a lot. I wasn't gonna be able to get away is the thing. They're pretty fast, especially the Vi build, Black Cleaver. She's really, really quick. If I had Dead Man's and Force of Nature, maybe. As long as I'm there for drag fight, we'll be fine. Let's keep going for the uh, Titanic here. I like how Titanic isn't a favorited item on Cho'Gath by Riot, even though it's one of his highest win rate items in the game. It's kind of hilarious. Sitting at 152.80 total. Not a lot because we don't have Titanic yet. But we're at 5,000 health. 5,200. R's giving currently 1,000. Heart stills giving 800 flat with 600 bonus. It starts to stack up rapidly though. Since it gives you more, the more damage it does. If you can get off some heart stills in a kind of mid late game team fight that's why bork's annoying because bork does current 12 percent of your current health hmm your silence got double heart still there see how i knocked her out of her queue that time that's what it's supposed to look like hey hey jinx I have to walk around that. Defensive Q and we walk away. Gotta play for Dragon. And gotta play around my teammates as well. You don't typically run flank on Cho'Gath. Like you can, but when they're that close to turret, it wouldn't really make sense to do so. Ooh, hey, big boy. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting perma CC'd here. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, I can't. <laughs> There's too many. I pressed R and didn't get anything out of it because nobody died. They couldn't quite kill me, though. <laughs> it, it, playing the way I did only work because my teammates were there. If I was by myself, I would have gotten nothing done. That's the thing. Tanking inherently isn't that useful unless your teammates are simultaneously getting immediate. Not 10 seconds from now, but immediate value out of it, which they were. 
So they were attacking the whole time while they were attacking me. So it just turned into me being tankier than them. Almost get the Titanic. I can nearly taste it. They don't seem like they want to surrender. They trust in the Jinx scaling. My team didn't even let me get that though. He smited it out. I guess I could have smited at 1600 against monsters. Against champions doing nearly a thousand. Hello friends. Oh, since when did Melio get a big dash move? Has he had that this whole time? That was enormous. Like a Rakan dash. I pick Rakan, we can just be Emilio. Hey, Shen. I, oh, I guess I could have pressed R. I didn't think my teammates were going to do that much damage. Hearthstone's at 800 bonus here. Warmogs, I wouldn't say it's one the worst item in the game, but it's one of the worst. It's not quite worth it. Like We could definitely pick it up on this build at some point, but it's certainly nothing you want to rush for a second. Get Silence on her. Oh, I couldn't actually move there. It's getting permaslowed by something. Yeah, that sucks. Feels bad, man. Too slow to catch, and then they quit. All right, we'll take it. Give me that art. <laughs> They quit before my arc can go off. All right, let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we had the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, the most in the game. A little surprised by that, because I was dying a lot at one spot, but it still turns out we did the most damage. That's pretty cool. And then for self-mitigated, we also took the most in the game. So we dealt the most, took the most, and self-mitigated the most. I'm pretty happy with this build. It does struggle more against Bork champions, but that's just Cho'Gath in general, just because Bork's overloaded. And then for runes, ultra high value. All in all, Cho'Gath top lane is in a healthy spot. However, he is still a very, 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 very slow paced champion. You're almost never going to get kills pre-6 on him unless you're getting jungle ganks. So take that for what it is. You're really playing him for the mid and late game. His early game, before you have heart still, is practically throwaway. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.